Gethin, it's lovely to see you here at London Film and Comic Con. It's been very busy for you guys today. You've got Finn here as well. How's it been going? Uh, yeah, it's been a fantastic day, really. We've had a lot of fun. Um, uh, you know, it's always fun with Finn. And it's a, it's a really big, fantastic show. It's the biggest one I've been to in the UK, I think, size-wise, you know. Uh, it's all, as ever, though, it, you know, incredible costumes. Uh, people, there's a guy over there dressed as Batman, looks pretty fantastic. Um, you know, uh, that's, that really adds to the fun of the day, is just to, for us to get to see what fans put into their, you know, cosplay and costumes and stuff like that. So, yeah, it's been great. Now, it's been a busy old season on Game of Thrones, and Loras has had his eye on... Oberyn Martell, has he not a little flirtation? What did you make of that as his ex? Well, <clears throat> when Oberyn turned up into the series, I was like, ah, right. So he's taken, I mean, he, he was played so fantastically by Pedro. I was, I was really rooting for there to be some kind of storyline with Loras because, or, or, or just, you know, just, I just really enjoyed watching him, his scenes, and, and, uh, and I thought it was really fun that they got something in there with, with Loras. Um, it's kind of a shame. We won't see any more of Oberyn in the future. Spoiler alert. <laughs> what did you think when you saw the episode? When you saw that fight between um, Gregor Clegane, the Mountain, and the Viper? Yeah, I've been I've been avoiding. I mean, I you know I read part you know three books, first three books, but for the last couple of years I've been kind of watching the series and staying away from the like you know not not talking to the guys about what's going to happen because I'm you know I'm a huge fan of the show now. So I didn't know what was going to happen, and I, I honestly thought that Oberyn was going to turn and belt his weapon at, uh, at um, Tywin. I really thought that was what was going to happen, and then it didn't. Um, but obviously Tywin as well, I mean, what an incredible end. But um, yeah, so yeah I, yeah, I just watched it like everybody else and was just kind of gobsmacked. Really. So when you saw those eyes pop in? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, uh, it's... Um, it, actually, that that was that was an incredible shot. Like I don't know what they, they, I would imagine there were s several technical elements to that. I mean, we, when Renly's death happened, like I got to see just how many people were involved in creating those moments, and that, and that was and actually when, when I was watching, it, I was thinking like which department, so whether it be makeup or visual effects, and that which layer they come in. It's it's fascinating to get to see behind the scenes of all that. Um, I wonder if they, they've probably done. They used to do these artisan videos on the DVDs. I wonder if they've. They've used that as a moment to do. I hope they do, because that, that would be a really interesting thing to see how they pulled it off, you know. The, uh, you mentioned also Tywin's death, which was pretty interesting, wasn't it? What did you make when you saw that? Um, well, <clears throat> I, again, I was really shocked, because I didn't know it was coming. I, yeah, I mean, I, it's, it's just beautifully, mar you know, beautifully carried off. I like, they, they do killing well. Those, those boys, don't they? Don't they? What? They do killing well. Who does killing well? Game of Thrones, lads. Yeah, they do actually. They do it really well. And ladies, yeah. Some of the deaths this season. I love the death with the um, oh, the giant, and he and he he does the arrow. He pings the arrow, and it hits hits the guy, oh, and it goes yeah. all the way over. Yeah, amazing. Those I think that was one of the most expensive deaths ever of Game of Thrones. Oh, really? That's why I, I heard that. I might just be making that up. I don't know. All the facts from Finn. All the facts from Finn Jones. I'm going to start a new television show up. Sorry, this is this is this is. Gethin's interview. I'm, I'm totally no, it's fine. It it's fine. So, what, where, where are you up on the questions? What, what are you guys? What are you guys talking about? What's on the agenda? Oh, well, we're about to ask Gethin, and you can chip in as well about the purple wedding, specifically the scene where they have the five dwarf kings. You know, the war of the five kings and yeah. their dwarves, and they had Renly, yeah, yeah, yeah. and they had Laura. So, what do you make of it? I thought that. I mean, I thought the the gentleman who played that scene did it with a huge amount of courage. As uh, as did all the actors in it, and, and, and Pete, Peter did an incredible job in that scene. Like I mean, it was it's a hurtful, sort of vicious kind of story to yeah. tell, and and something that you kind of think that that will have happened in European courts. Yeah, and the, the, the way we did it was um, the director before it, none of us knew what was going to happen, and he was like, okay, right, um, I'm not going to tell you what happens, so just act naturally to it, and it came out, and it, I, all of us were just like. What the what the fuck is this? Like this is this is because you know Peter's there and then and then I see this guy like obviously dressed as us and, and, and bu bumming yeah, you to yeah. death. It was like it was really intense, but yeah. brilliant TV though. Really really clever, really fun. Yeah, it was an extraordinary, yeah. shocking scene, and and I thought, but again, it's like a a, a difficult story to tell, and I thought they told told it very well. You know. 
I mean, that was a great moment, of course, the, the Purple Wedding, but what were your other top kind of season four moments? Meeting Oberyn when he, when he rocks up. Oh, yeah. Who's this guy? <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, he's, I mean, he's fantastic. Um, what about... Oh, oh, oh no, Rory McCann. Towards the end, all that stuff at the end. Brilliant. I mean, no, and, and, and obviously Maisie as well. You know, those scenes, I, you know, I really thought Rory did some incredible work that he has throughout, but those scenes were beautiful and dark and horrible. You know, like, yeah. I, it, it, her leaving him, man, it's like, both of them just play, play the play the fight with Gwen at the end. I love it when they just bash each other in the genitals. Like, the, the, she's like, bam, right in his nose. And he's like, all right, fuck you. Boof, right in the minge. <laughs> minge, that's a horrible word. I'm sorry, I should never use that word. Gross. <laughs> well, what else do you call it? What do you, what do you bop? Bop a fanny, right in the fanny. <laughs> I don't know what, I, I don't know. Hey guys. I'm living I'm it. I'm back to my work. I'll leave you to it. Thanks, if you need man. any help, I'm just next to you. If we need any, you know, strain for fantasy. Yeah, sure, great, got it, brilliant. Hey guys, how you doing? Now, there's been a lot of WTF moments in the show the whole way through, not just this season, have they? If you had to pick your kind of top ones that made an impression that still kind of spring back to your mind, what would they be? There are so many. I seeing how Rob Stark's the, oh, the Red Wedding, like how that went down, but specifically, uh, you know, what happened to Una Chapman's character, the way she was killed, and 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 Cat Stark as well. Just how that was executed, literally, was it left me left me kind of shuddering, and I I knew what was coming, you know. And finally, if you could have anything happen for Loras going forward, what would you like to have happen for your former love? Oh, what would I like for? To, I'd like him to take up religion and become celibate, <laughs> and 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 build a shrine in High Garden to rent it. No, who's this? What would I like to see happen to your character? All oh, right, okay. Well, what do you want to see happen to your character? Uh, oh, I've worked this out today actually. I want to see so that missing dragon. Um, I want to see Bran walk the missing dragon, get uh, over his way to King's Landing, like we saw in his premonition when he touched the tree. Um, and then I want Loras to somehow tame the dragon, like, like a bit like a horse tamer, but like a dragon tamer, and then ride the dragon like into battle against Stannis and like, rah, and like fuck Stannis' army off and then ride off into the sunset. End of Game of Thrones. Dun, 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 dun. Um, yeah. So George, if you're listening, that is now your ending. That's what's happening, George. Get with the program.